What is up all, Daddy Strength here, and I wanna show you how my human flag went from looking like this, not very impressive by the way, to then looking like this, in just three months. Now, I think it's important to note, I followed nobody else's instructions. I did this my way. I just figured I would figure it out and see how fast I could achieve doing a human flag for the first time in my life. Another important note is I never intended this to be on YouTube, so I filmed everything vertical over my process. It was all iPhone. However, I still found the information useful for you here, and I think you'll find the same. So basically, I challenged myself to get this done by July 4th of 2022, and I almost made it. I was pretty close, but it took me about three full months, and a really important thing to note is that I was pretty physically fit when I started this challenge, but I never tried the human flag specifically. So that being said, if you're in the gym regularly, if you have no existing issues, no back pain, no problems, you should actually find this easier, step one through two that is, than you probably think it is. So all you'll need at your own gym is a rack like this, you'll see in the video, where you can set the bar up or down and there's a bar on top that you can grab or a rack like this. Many commercial gyms have one or the other. You can usually find that. Now, I can't help you if you're on your own, you're doing this upside down, you're gonna look a little goofy. People are probably gonna judge you, but that is okay. That comes with doing something different and unique and challenging that people aren't willing to do themselves. It really helps if you have a friend who's willing to do this with you, because then automatically you're gonna be viewed as not somebody who's super weird by themselves doing some weird exercise, but you're just there with a friend and you're working on a challenge, you're having fun, you're laughing together, so that's really helpful. Now, the human flag looks kind of easy easy actually when you view it from afar, but when you go to practice it, it's incredibly hard. The good news is the first few steps that I lined out are really not that difficult and you can achieve them very quickly within about two weeks or less. I think it's important to point out that I am now currently 37 years old, a father of three, and I was able to learn this in about three months. So it is possible and you can totally learn it if you set aside the time daily to do this and it doesn't really require that much time per day either. Okay, without further ado, I'm gonna list out the five steps by name and then we'll go through them one by one. Step one is inversion. Here's a video right here to show you what I mean. It's just learning how to get comfortable being upside down on a bar. I'll show you shortly how to set that up. Step two is getting more comfortable in this inverted position, is doing things like you see here on the video, going in and out, going up and down, challenging yourself to be more unstable, to understand what it feels like when you're about to fall. Step three is about building initial strength. Now this is just about slowly lowering yourself down many, many times over and over throughout the course of a few weeks to get really good at those reps. Now step four, kind of like building strength is about building super strength. What that means is we're actually tapping into true strength gains. True strength gains come from truly tapping into your muscles and challenging your muscles. That's where we're at and this is the longest step for that reason. It takes about four weeks. Building true super strength is just about being consistent over and over, challenging yourself, making it really hard, but not spending too much time per day. Now finally, step five is literally about doing the flag. So we have three steps that are two weeks, one step that is four weeks, and another two weeks or so to actually perform the flag. That brings you to about exactly three months. Let's get into it now. Step one, which is inversion. This is actually much easier than most people think it is. It looks incredibly difficult, but it's really not that hard. Within the first day or two, you can probably master this with these tips I'm about to give you. So on inversion, here's what I was most confused about. I thought you had to bend sideways and get the side of your hip towards the bar. I was wrong. The human body doesn't really work that way. As you pull yourself up into this inverted position, you want to tilt your belt buckle towards the bar. So your hips, will spiral and rotate towards the bar. All right, take a look at this video, see if you can see the difference. I was really stuck on my one side, being when my right side was in the air. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get that side and then it clicked with me. It was that I had to rotate my belt buckle towards the bar and that's where you're gonna be most comfortable and that's where inversion is really not that difficult. So in this position, I want you to spend about two weeks just learning this, about 10 to 15 minutes a day, no more, because any more than that, you're gonna fatigue yourself and you're gonna to be too tired to get quality reps in. So once again, 10 to 15 minutes a day at the beginning of your workout is fine. Just go ahead and mess around with it, have fun. You know, try to get up and try to challenge yourself to hold that inverted position. Usually within a day or two, twisting your belt buckle towards the rack, you're gonna find you're gonna be able to hit that inverted position. So step number two is about getting confident in that inverted position. Step two should take about another two weeks. And basically what happens is you're just gonna get comfortable. You're gonna learn how to get up in that inverted position. You're gonna put yourself away from the bar, towards the bar, you're gonna drop your legs a little bit, you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna unbend your knees. You're just gonna do things that throw your balance off, that challenge all those little stability muscles 
to do what they need to do to then learn how to be more comfortable inverted. This step again should be about 10 to 15 minutes tops because any more than that you're going to get way too tired. So you can do this up to seven days a week for two weeks. This brings you up to four total weeks so far. Now step three is about building strength and we're going to build neurological strength. That means brain strength. That means we're going to get better at the movement just by being more efficient. So you're going to get into that inverted position that we've now gotten comfortable with over the last four weeks. That's about a month and you're going to slowly lower yourself down. All right, you're just gonna challenge yourself to slowly lower those legs down as far as you can until you have to drop. That is totally fine. You're just gonna fight it and fight it and fight it again. About two more weeks in this, doing this on each side for about 10 to 15 minutes a day is totally fine. It's plenty for you to learn. Any more than that is again, probably doing a little more harm than good as you get tired and perform really poor quality reps. Step four is where it really gets interesting and this is where it takes a little bit longer because we're actually gonna build superpower strength here. And we're gonna build true strength, strengthen your muscles, not just neurological strength, not just getting efficient at the movement, truly strengthening those biceps, those lats, those obliques, all these core muscles that are involved there's a lot more muscles involved than you probably ever realize in the human flag. So it's gonna take us about four full weeks to do this and we're gonna be very diligent, work about 10 to 15 minutes a day and we're really gonna lower down as low as we can and stop and reverse that motion. This is where the true strength is built. This is where I think the magic happens and where I think some people have missed out. So get up into inverted. We've already got good at that. We've already got comfortable with that. We already have stabilization in that because of what we've done before. Now you're gonna lower yourself as slow as you can to a point that you can just barely come back up. Now coming back up can be a little bit ugly as you'll see in the videos I'm gonna post over top. Some of my reps were super ugly, but it doesn't really matter. You're building really good strength by coming up. A couple tricks in this position. One, bend your knees on the way back up. So go straight legs on the way, on the way down and bend those knees and bring it back up. It's gonna be a lot easier to build strength that way. Number two, as you'll see in the video here, leave your top leg up. It actually really helps to take some load off your core to help you build strength into those lower positions. So leave one leg straight up, one leg straight out, as you'll see in the videos here, and just really go down. You'll be able to get pretty deep, almost horizontal at this point, and then come back up, whatever you have to do to get back up. Do a couple reps at a time. I'm gonna recommend about three reps on each side at a time for another 10 to 15 minutes a day. It really doesn't have to be that long. All right, now step five is finally doing the flag. Now, if you follow the last four steps, you should be about 10 weeks deep, and that is really not that much time considering you have your whole life now to perform the human flag and do something that most people can't do. Step number five is the final two weeks that'll bring you to about three months total, and that's actually doing the flag. So you're gonna come down in position and you're gonna basically lower yourself to a true human flag horizontal, and you're gonna hold that as long as you can and then drop. All right, you're gonna do that multiple times per side, let's say five or six times per side over the two weeks. Now pretty soon you're gonna be able to jump into position without going into that inverted position. This is where you really have done the human flag. So you're gonna be able to jump in position, lock horizontal and hold horizontal and that's what's super impressive about the human flag. If you follow this video, good luck and keep referencing this video. It's really not that bad. Anybody can do this who is decently fit and not overweight. You're likely gonna have one side that is really strong versus the other. Now I would encourage you up until the last step, being step five, to work both sides equally. And here at step five, what's super motivating is to just hit that human flag one time and that's where I think you can focus on your stronger side. For me, my right arm down, my left arm up is my strong side and that's where I focused my attention for the next few weeks during that step number five to make sure I hit a nice solid human flag. Now to keep progressing with this, I think you should work both sides. The human body is very profound and it works together. So if you're weak on one side versus the other, it's probably never gonna be as good as balancing everything out at least a little bit. So now if you're like me, you go in and out of phases. I've kind of phased off of the human flag. I'm gonna ramp that back up heading into summer. Right now I'm just focusing on muscle building and muscle gain all over my body. I did sacrifice a little bit of my workouts to be able to achieve this human flag. All right guys, that's the end of the video. If you've made it to the end, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your diligence into trying to learn the human flag. Now, if you have questions or you're confused about anything I said, just drop those down in the comments. I'm generally pretty good at responding. I do have three kids. I am a dad, like I said before, so life does happen, but I usually am able to get back to those comments in a timely manner. Once again, thanks for watching. A good luck on your human flag. And guess what? You're going to build a little bit of muscle over your journey, just even trying. So even if you just try and you don't make it by three months, you've already become a winner because you're building strength and muscle and you can still achieve this human flag at some point sooner than most people ever will.